All right, welcome, welcome back. back. It's time for us to get into some deep issues, some conversations mm. about uh, unemployment. You know, um, Kukui, the where we find ourselves, you know, you hear about um, strike actions. It's been going on since the tail end of last year. Yeah. A lot of strike actions, people agitating over their conditions of service and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Then um, there's this other side of the conversation where now people don't have jobs. People don't have regular jobs. Now, part of the challenge for me, when I think about it, is that um, the government has been touting, you know, one million jobs created, you know, X number of jobs created through different um, vehicles, you know. Yes. The question is, what kind of jobs are these? Let's assume, uh, without admitting that the statistics, the figures that we've been given are accurate, right? What kind of jobs are these, you know? And so when we mm -hmm. look at the um, unemployment situation, um, is you start to you know wonder that what are we dealing with here you know because we have what 30 32 million people in Ghana um, of course the population is increasing but what it also means is that um, people need to be we need to do something about the economy to grow it enough so that it can absorb the labor force that is coming you know we can't you know um, wish wish the problems away we have to do mm -hmm. something practical about it um, but we have a report for you uh, from Odododio Odo and um, our colleague Ni Ayukwe Okai is looking at the unemployment situation let's take a look the 2021 population and housing census by the Ghana Statistical Service revealed that more than 1 million people of the country's economically active population were jobless. If the minimum age of 15 years, which is the required working age, is applied, the proportion of people without work would be over 7%. The section of economically active males who are 15 years and older was over 60 percent compared with the over 50 for females. Like many other developing countries, poverty in Ghana is largely attributed to social and economic inequality among its citizens. Ghana's economic growth has also slowed down significantly over the past few years, impacting negatively on cities across the country, including the capital, Accra. The population dwelling within the city relies heavily on employment and income, both of which are considered essential sources for sufficient livelihoods. But for many active youth in Gamashi, a suburb of Accra, there is very little to boast of in terms of employment levels. On a regular day, not many of these vibrant youth are seen in lucrative ventures that can provide for their daily needs. With only a few seeking to attain some education, others prefer to take to fishing, which is the most predominant occupation along the coast. In cases where financial constraints set in, the few that have tried seeking formal education end up being school dropouts and venture into obnoxious living. Sometimes, the end result is their involvement in drug abuse, teenage pregnancy, and other social vices. economic situation less the standard of living high. Daylight jobs. Twenty-four years. 
ke ni chuma bibi bibi kumi. Obi ani loto ngi mbi ani uchwa bolu. Loto enyo na ede. Loto ebe ni oleji ke obi customer so ina shika. Jana customer dono bana shika. Mbi ani uwe yute u eko loto kanga mami no efa. Efa imamu loto ngi efa imamu. Oge bobo uji no kwa angwa loto e. Sano ukanyo e. Wanye chuji kumetmo. Kwa mikuma ino chuji kumeni abanya kafetmo. Piota factory biscuit. Nibi nibi ni kula banya, wengi pia banya ina shina cheme ni afya nibi ni banya wa wa biya shina kando kufanya eya ano kama moteshi kama moja tashi ya TV ya anwe kula onye mikuwe heno kodi yeye lango pasi kwa abu abu baye kono nufio kufeno e miaka wa biene ni ni jala wa abu shi nuchuma ni jinu chuma nua ba chuma nuno ji wana ba biene beka biya baya skuku kaya ni fio nani mwa kaka bino baya lishi. Bom mungu baka e ya skuwe don kwa papa po follow angu kwa e ya wale ya wumi ni mami yako metu e kake chona kwa e ya mami yele hum ona wapo bino baale shikbe kambi e ame fiti ni ame hii bino ana afi rasta e iti ona ni a sheleni kani bishi fence angu e ona e ya huto mla akesa nuno ya sku le le sku e watia me kume chimu e di me neti ni akbebe university na akbebe ss na ni apt na wame nuno chumu nuno chumu e ni mbak. Ni sani governmente e kwa niki maji ya kubaji nato ne wakwa umbeni maya ale na kana nani umbeni e ya ale ene governmente ba ba kwa wewe wewe mukoni chuo ageshi wanyo wafuoshi kwa ame kaji ame ba ba ya mchezaji systemi ame yao niki ame ba moja systemi fio west. But how worrying is the situation to the aged in the society who may have to depend on their offspring for survival? The duty of the MC should go beyond that. They have to find a way out. One of the main, uh, I think, idea should be based on innovative. Their duty is to not to clear rubbish as well as getting re getting rid of filthy situation here. But it should go beyond that because always we we have to maintain those who are drug addicts in this community. Uh, we have to maintain them. And at times, it is very difficult on our part. In an attempt to help address the situation, the Gbese Manche, who doubles as the adulting of the Ghan State, has initiated an endowment fund aimed at creating employment for the teeming youth. Communications Director at the Office of the Gbese Manche, Theophilus Wilson, has been elaborating on the policy. We launched the fund not quite long. The code, the wallet has been launched. And people have started pushing in some few few cities. We haven't checked what has come. But when we check, we are sure that we will be able to comfort that. In six months' time, we begin. Is this not an idea to rake in money for your own personal gains? Well, if you say so, it's wrong. Before, before if it's a personal gain, then we will not think of the people, where they are and where they should go. And what even they should eat we shouldn't think first about that we should think first about getting a contract that would bring in the millions how many youth are we targeting this year uh, for, for 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 this year uh for our plan we should look at maybe a thousand youth for the second year it will grow more than a thousand it will go into two hundred thousand plus because a thousand youth is a huge number even the fund itself is an office you need to set. Have accountants, have people who are project managers, you have all those things must be set. And that is also going to bring in uh, work. Okay, All right. so that was a report filed mm. by our colleague Nia Ikwe Okain mm. on the situation, the unemployment situation in Gamashi. Mm. Well, let's welcome host of Footprints mm -hmm. on City TV, Samuel Atamensa, to Breakfast Daily. Good morning, Samuel. Good morning, good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You're looking good. good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I want to match up. Yeah. <laughs> you want to catch up? I want to catch up. You want up. to catch up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then, yeah. yeah. So mm. this conversation about um, unemployment, I mean, for looking at what we saw in the report, uh, uh, many different questions are, you know, jumping around in my head. I think the first one probably be um, the government has rolled out many, you know, um, initiatives 
that um, has, and it also has brought out numbers to say that okay so many people have been employed you know in this sector and that sector and so on what's the challenge here what are we looking at when we look at this community specifically and of course the general broader problem is across the country but this community specifically what are we looking at here and what seems to be the challenge in getting them into roped into the employment net Mm -hmm. okay. I, <laughs> wish I, had, I wish I had the answer to this question. <laughs> I'm telling you. I, t I tell you. But I like the way because uh, <laughs> the question sounds so scientific. <laughs> science background, you all. But I actually. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing scientific about it. It's just that um, it's a combination of several factors. Um, you know, lack of jobs mm. is, is a fact. Mm -hmm. No two ways about that. Um, um, also. Peculiar to certain geographic areas, you have attitudinal issues that we cannot overlook. Mm. Um, also, employability is also an issue. And so, you have different elements of it. As, it, as in, for instance, if um, um, a, a soft drinks company decides to um, situate itself within this space, yeah. what kind of talents or what kind of Skill uh, human set. skill mm. sets would they require mm. and would these skills be found in this area mm. and that's a bigger question yeah. you know and so i think overall it's about youth development programs mm. youth development programs across board i mean for instance i, I mean I, i'm not in that space but top of my head and i'm trying to look at how it's done elsewhere because this kind of thing is associated with most capital cities with quote unquote slum areas mm. you know um, you go to johannesburg you see something like this yeah. 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 you go to nairobi you see a thing yes. like this you, you know it's it's but why do we have a stadium right mm. here mm. and we haven't made the best use of the stadium mm. okay so how many what kind of skills would be required to engage people to be security guards at the car park, mm -hmm. for instance? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You okay? Mm -hmm. um, food service, mm -hmm. you know. If we are putting the facility to its optimum mm -hmm. use, yes. yeah. I'm sure it can engage a lot Quite of a these young people. people. Yeah. Because thing is that they haven't, they haven't gone through um, the required levels of education. Mm -hmm. So they are not going to be employed at the ministries no, no it's not going to happen no. but should you leave them to rot that's a question yeah. the answer is no yeah how do we engage them okay many years ago i i i did some work in in in, in kent in, in mm -hmm. the uk and i was shocked to to understand the way the young people were working at the time and i don't know whether whether it's changed now I mean, once they were done with high school, for them, that's it. Mm. Mm -hmm. they, they had no idea. I mean, going to university for what? Yeah. Yeah. And then they told me that because they want to go into fishing. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And some of them, 20 years down the line, they are millionaires. Yeah. Mm. Because they developed the fishing industry yeah. in the English Channel mm. towards the Kent area yeah. so that that people will take advantage. Mm. You understand? Mm. So if fishing is an option, how have we, you know, isolated that for development? Mm. Because it's a whole chain it of is. activities. Somebody will be a fisherman. Mm. Somebody will be doing the 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 the, the, the carving of the of the canoes. You know, and all these things. Yeah. But you can't you can't transform the place overnight mm. by just putting everybody in a job somewhere because mm. we, we i have employed a few people mm. within the general area before mm. and then after one week they go back mm. yeah. because some mm. of them are not used to the the discipline of waking mm -hmm, up mm -hmm. at dawn going to work and coming back yeah uh, we have given people opportunity from osu from accra mm. you know yeah the last the, I think two, three years ago, 
I went to my family house. Okay. And my family house is at Adidimpo area. Mm-hmm. You know Adidimpo? Adidimpo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I got you lost there. <laughs> okay, let's say Timber Market area. Okay, okay. Amamu. Amamu. Amamu, okay. Yeah. And I got a few young men to come help at the AMA when we were doing the event. Um, the uh, Back to Village. Back Bazaar. to Village, Accra Music yeah. uh, uh, Festival. Well. You know, these boys came and I was actually packing, arranging chairs mm-hmm. with them. Mm-hmm. After one hour, they all I got mean, lost. Hmm. Wow. They, they got lost. Ah. Mm-hmm. I called them, they were picking. Wow. And guess what? They showed up at 6.30, all dressed up to uh. come and be part of the oh. event. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm like, laughs> you know, and from that day, I just cut them off. Mm. Because this is what I do for a living, yes. out of which I give you some. Yes. But what you need a coffee? Who I you? So their attitude, not, look, we can, I mean, the politicians but, won't say this. But we, know, have, but, we, have, we have attitude, not issues mm, too, mm, as well. Mm, Samen, mm. speaking about that, though, just a few months ago, the Great Accra Regional Minister did kind of hit on some of those points. And people and just people, took him to the cleanest. Yes, but, but he, he, he put it out there. He said, listen, there are young men, you go broad day, middle of the day, like yep. you said, yep. they're sleeping. If you offer them a chance to get a job, I'm a small. They oh, no more. Bafe will yeah. find more. Yes. Oh, so a small the, natural yeah. me. Yeah. The attitudinal the issues. issues. I'm you. Mm. Even mm. to go to school, he but said, is a problem. Didn't uh, former President Kufo also make this statement in a, you know in another form, uh, you know, just about laziness, the just, just general laziness. We sit here, my, my sister, my brother, <laughs> go to the northern regions. Yeah. Mm. I'll just stand up for them uh-huh. any day. Wow. Mm-hmm. You won't find this kind of attitudes there. Mm. Because they understand what poverty is. Mm. And they will school themselves out of poverty. Mm. Yeah. You understand? Mm. So if you sit in Accra, oh, gamma, 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 yeah. gamma, spawn, gamma, yeah. noni, gamma uh-huh. spawn, you know that in your family house, you don't own in your balance. She may need your spawn, and you two are saying something. <laughs> You, you understand? Yeah. So you you can you can grow out of poverty mm. with this kind of attitude. That said, mm-hmm. there will be some uh, who, who I know mm-hmm. who have actually completed Legon Central University and are still at home. That's another that's side another of it. But that that actually picks on the general issues of unemployment, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know. But even then, I have had occasion to, you know, engage some of these young people. You offer them a job opportunity, they'll tell you they don't like it. Mm. Yeah. Or they'll tell you they don't mm. like it. And then some funny reason, mm-hmm. they tell you that they want to work in a bank. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's true. So, I mean, I've so where is the unemployment? Yeah. Where does this come from? This sense of... Because, uh, Kukui, you have lived your life in the US, UK, all these places. When you were in... Uh, in, in, in university, yeah. you had your mates who were working in McDonald's, yeah. working in in coffee shops. We were all working, you know, doing menial working. jobs. Yeah. Yes, just what you do have a jo- you to just complement what you have. Yeah. yeah, go check out whether in Ghana any graduate would want to do that. They won't mm. do it. It's true. Mm. So wh- true. how do we define unemployment? Yeah, mm. because you start from somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I always say that when I was doing my master's, I did security work mm-hmm. and I did security I did security work, security work for so long that I used to connect people. Can you imagine? <laughs> 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 and so I understand the psychology mm-hmm. of a security person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I understand the loneliness that they go through. Yeah. I understand the questions that they ask, ask themselves, themselves. Yeah. when everybody is gone home yeah. and they are yeah. alone. Yeah. 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 So I'm just saying that I, I don't like this job. I like this mm-hmm. job. Yeah. Fair enough. But the job preference is not available. Yeah. And that's not unemployment. Yes. There's yes. a certain kind of employment mm. that for you, you tell yourself that I don't like it. Mm-hmm. You know, I always say, and mm. I, 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 I'm not government and I don't want to be government. Mm. I don't have solution to every problem. But I'm just saying that so long as you have crossed that SHS thing, mm. you have no reason to be sitting at home. I'm telling you. Okay. Mm. 
You have no reason to okay. be sitting at home. I like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. things have changed. So I can't, I can't, you know, just use my example as the, the benchmark. Mm -hmm. But effort counts at all times. It does. It does. Your friend has a shop in, in, in Okanshi or somewhere. Mm -hmm. Offer to just go and do volunteer work there. Yeah. Because in the process of volunteer, you meet somebody mm. yep. who sees your hard work and recommends you. That's how it's That's done. How it's done. Yeah. You don't sit at home. So I'm just saying that. Let's yeah. learn. Let's learn. Look, let me let me be ethnic here. Let's learn from the Kuru people. Mm. Let's learn from mm. the northern people. Mm. Let's learn from the Ashanti people. I'm yeah. saying let's because I'm half Ghan, so mm -hmm. I can say it. Mm -hmm. But David, you can't say that. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. So I'm just mm -hmm. saying that this is how it should work. Yeah. So on the other side, the girls who have made it in politics. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The senior people who have made it in politics should learn to help the younger people. Yes. Yeah. They should learn to learn to help the younger people. Mm. You see, oh, big names. Oh, he was the so-and-so of this. Mm -hmm. Is mm. it that awa moku moku alo, they've tried and, and, and it's been fruitless? Maybe because of attitudes. Maybe, uh -huh. just okay. maybe. Okay. Just maybe. maybe. Okay. But the picture outside is the the Kuru people, the Ashanti people, the Northern they people, back. they are there and they are pulling their yeah. people there. Yeah. They are there and they are pulling their people there. Yeah. The guy person goes there and he <laughs> no one <laughs> mm. Charlie, he go press you, make you come up for that. Mm. You understand? Mm. So this is this is the problem. Mm. So that's why I said that this is a, is a, is, is a, is a, the factors are so many mm. with this Accra thing. You know, okay. go there again. And uh, Aikwe, who did the story? comes from there he grew up there mm. okay look at go him, there man. and see something very interesting okay a lot of the young boys who are entrepreneurial within these communities are not gas ah. oh wow okay. go and check okay mm. That's go and check i mean growing up of course i didn't live there live there but we used to go there because of a mm. growing up in that mammal areas all the entrepreneurial people on our lane were from either Achim or Kwewu. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, the people who used to sell the black and white toffee, mm -hmm. the wapi, the yeah. go ahead. Yeah. The, uh, oh, you, you don't know. Oh, finding. Oh, that's a rest. Okay. Yeah. Now, what okay. we'll 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 but government policy should start from youth development. Mm. You can't jump to employment. It yeah. won't work because they are not they are not schooled yet. The attitudes <clears throat> need to be worked on. They need to be brought up with a thinking that mm. they need to earn a living. Mm. Yeah, that's a cultural mm. thing. And it's a, a cultural thing. thing. Yeah. That's very it's a difficult cultural to, thing. to change. But the problem is that our politicians cannot face it because mm. they will lose votes. Ah, yeah. well. Yeah. Okay. They will okay. lose votes because how do you, as a politician, go and tell them that you have to change your attitude? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what mm -hmm. you just mm -hmm. said. Mm -hmm. Greater Accra Regional yeah, Minister yeah, what confronted mean. the thing 200%. Yes. And people just took him I to the cleaners. Yeah. Mm. So, present alternative facts. Mm. Okay. Which there are none because it's the truth. Hmm. So, it's an Accra, truth. unemployment, it exists. It looks like what we see in Jobek. What we see, living in Cape Town, mm. beautiful city, beautiful. but check out some enclaves and unemployment. What we see in Nairobi, yeah. what, I mean, go, I mean, go to England, London. Mm. We see similar situations. Similar situations yeah. But how do you bring them out? It's by inculcating in them, right from the young age, a certain culture, a certain drive. Somebody needs to inspire them. Mm -hmm. Let's give them good examples of leadership. How they can, you know, I, I, I mean, I'm saying it for my heart because <laughs> I still have responsibility there. Yeah. And at times, I, I wonder at times some of them, how they, what they, their ideals in life, mm -hmm. what do they want to be? And then they start as young as, say, eight years, they call themselves disadvantaged. Yeah. Hmm. How can you be disadvantaged mm -hmm. when you have not been given 
the same opportunity to go to school like the person who lives in Laboni, yeah. the person who lives in Camp Cantonment. I'll tell you a story. That we are dealing with uh, this um, um, uh, COPE, yes. COPE yes. Um, um, scholarships. And, and I have about two or three um, particular situations that we are dealing with. One gentleman had seven A's mm -hmm. and a B. Mm. Okay. He's still home. And guess what? He said to me that the only reason I got here is because of free SHS. Mm. I, I had no intention of going to secondary school. I only went to secondary school because of because free SHS. Free. And now this guy gets seven A's and a B. But he's home. Why? He could not afford to buy the application form to invest. Mm. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Whoa. And so he has the results, but mm. cannot no money. enter. Yeah. So I said, I will go. I will go. What John used to say. No, because the, the investors have closed the admission oh, portal. Yeah. yeah. Gosh. Well, he didn't apply oh, at all. Gosh. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, so gosh. I said, don't worry. Or we will pass inside till you get it. We are almost there. Wow. We are almost there to take that mm -hmm. boy and put him in the medical school that he deserves. Mm. And we have several. Yesterday, I had another one from the north. Same situation. He just could not afford yeah. to buy the forms. Yeah. Yeah. So there are real genuine cases yeah. that need help, that need interventions, hmm. you know. But when we come to this Accra thing, it goes beyond going to site and industry there. There, yeah. The attitudes Excuse will have to be dealt the with. Issue. And hmm. that's a plain fact. Hmm. Every breadwinner within this enclave will speak the language I'm speaking. Hmm. Okay. Because for how long can you keep Fending for, for you mm -hmm. know, hundreds of people mm -hmm. from your family. Yeah. How, long? How long? All right, let's so take a quick break. When we come back, we'll continue our discussion. Send us a message. You can hashtag Breakfast Daily or zero five five zero five eight five eight three two. That is our WhatsApp line. Join the discussion. Let us know your thoughts on what we're talking about. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. And as the show goes, it's interactive. Hashtag is Breakfast Daily. And the WhatsApp line is 0550-585832. We do want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this matter of unemployment? You know, there's challenges across the country in different areas. But this particular issue is uh, it's quite burdensome. And in government in, government out, um, you're facing the same challenges. The question that I want to um, ask now at this point, Samez, is... How do we solve this? We, we can solve it by, by, by first being frank about mm -hmm. what the problem is. Okay. I mean, you can't wish it any mm -hmm. other way. way. Yeah. Okay. The problem is that there's stark reality of unemployment facing us mm. across board. The youth have lesser opportunities to earn a living than ever before. Mm -hmm. But within specific geographical areas and subcultures, there's also the issue of attitudes that we need, we need to deal with. Mm. And how do you deal with it? You need to deal with it by creating um, geographical area specific youth development programs. Mm. Okay. And I keep saying that because without a solid youth development program, the issue of employment becomes burdensome. Mm. Okay. Because even their mindsets, mm. you, you, you understand? Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, you, you, can't, you can't just l make it happen yeah. without that. The mindset has to change. Engaging them. But again, a lot of the people growing up in that area... Um, I mean, if I talk to them, I, I am not. So what? What? What do you? Minta no wa min ma fire fire service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, fire service yeah. is that Stable. all? Yeah. You know, and and not one person, not two people, mm. a number of them. They say, oh, 
uh, they want to go to fire service. Mm -hmm. And so this is the ideal that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. you, you get me? Yeah. Now, I have, I have a nephew who, who, from the same area, mm -hmm. okay? From the same area. So I, I would say that he's, he's not... Uh, he, he, look, this, it could have been anything. Mm. But he ended up with eight A's. Okay. From the same area. From the same area. Wow. He ended up with eight A's. And straight away, he's at the University of Science and Technology Medical School. Mm. From the same area. Okay. So, so you are not condemned if you are from the area. Mm. No. But if you are, you have an attitude of let me put in effort let me work hard and you are encouraged it works for you uh -huh. mm. he had your guidance maybe Pro not maybe not a bit. he had I'll, I'll say that he had positive influence Posti okay so maybe not but he didn't live with me mm -hmm. okay. but i'm just saying that there are exceptional cases mm. but if the youth development program provides that kind of culture or that kind of drive or leadership then we can you know, re start resolving the mm. issue because it's a big mindset issue. That I'm telling you. What, what do Remember? you make of? Sorry, uh, what do you make of these endowments that we, we keep propping up? Oh, let's start an endowment fund for people to contribute to the development of the youth. It sounds a bit vague, a bit <clears> nebulous. <throat> But I, I remember, I think Henry Horty also mentioned something like that, setting up a fund and then setting up some kind of research library. The Bessie Manchester spokesperson also said the same thing. They're trying to set up a fund, a fund, a fund. I, I don't know about fund. I, I honestly don't know about fund. Hmm. See, I am saying again that the girls who have made it should help the up-and-coming ones. Nothing can replace this statement. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Look at the education minister. You think he's foolish? Mm -hmm. <laughs> The man goes to his constituency yeah. and with his own money, money. Yeah. gives mm. scholarships to how many people? Engineering students. A hundred. <clears throat> more than Now in the yeah. hundreds. Yeah. Which politician mm. of grand descent has tried even half of this before? Mm. In our lifetime. No. Wow. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. Wow. It's true. The man is doing it in Bosomche. Yeah. yeah. That's his uh, constituency. Yes. So... 20 years yes, down the line, you reap the if you see that all the heads of medical engineering institutions are from that area, hey, then they go again. Mm -hmm. They are not giving us opportunities. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, but he no invested. Inve no invested. That's the point I'm he making. Invested. Yeah. That the people who have made it yeah. should also, as part of the whole process, mm. also go and help others. Yeah. You go there, take maybe, maybe five people, mm. help them through SHS or university. I'm, I'm saying it because I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. There are some of them, if I meet them today, I don't even know them. Mm. I'm telling you. If I meet them today, I don't know them. All I know is their names. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> I have sorted them, helped them through university. Mm. So the girls should do, they should help. The government is the biggest, government's responsibility is to create the platform to reduce the unemployment. Mm. No two ways. And no government can dodge that responsibility. Mm. And no government can blame people for their attitudes if they are not doing anything, anything to resolve that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so it can be resolved. Mm. But it requires a more deliberate, location-specific strategies because the strategy that you require to intervene in the affairs of let's say gamashi yeah. or the do area it's not the same that you use in inkaria to us okay yeah. because they are, they are cultured differently mm -hmm. yes. the average young boy when he wakes up in inkaria to us yeah mm -hmm. and now, mm -hmm. and now, you know that's the, the, the different orientations but the person here is said okay man sure now you know yeah. it's it's yeah. not yeah. different but we have to be consistent, mm. we have to be deliberate, and we have to keep doing it. Mm. It's mm. not, you can't win with a piecemeal approach to this. Mm. No, it won't happen. Mm. Because it's a lifestyle, it's a way of living. Yeah. So if you want to intervene, you have to be deliberate, you have to be consistent, and you have to push in resources. Know that you will not solve everybody's problem, mm. but you will win because you change the way people think. Mm. We, you know, we've sp spoken a lot about the young men in this area, but the young women 
as well need well, a lot yeah, of attention. I, use a, the, I just use the, a generic term men yes, you, to mean women as well. As well. Yeah. Um, and the report also highlighted the men a lot. But the, there's also this issue of teenage pregnancy. Now, I did some work with an NGO that was, they, they focused their efforts in that area. And it was, as you were saying, some ends. They pumped resources. They did education. They went on foot, door to door, speaking to people. They went, and the average age of girls, young women giving birth in <clears> that <throat> same area. And, and it's, it's almost like it's expected mm -hmm. that by a certain age, no, go for two, you're seen two three years. It's like, you're okay, sir, cry. Oh, oh, fuck, oh. That kind of thing. The, that alone is a whole strategy that has mm. to be focused on just that, the teenage pregnancy statistics. I don't know, some of you want to, <laughs> now that you've sipped, you've had a little <laughs> sip, it's a huge issue. Yeah, I think, it I is, think it's, it's, a, it's a big issue. And, it's and big. I think it's cultural too. It you is. Know, it's, um, people will do what they find um, commendable within their cultural spaces. And, um, you know, and there are informal cultures so do i say informal cultures there are there are certain backroom cultures that really dictate the way people behave and these are elements that you pick up from insults mm. <laughs> i get you and i'm telling you from yeah. the most unlikely sources mm. you know if somebody can insult you, what's yeah. what would that? Yeah. Eh? Mm -hmm. What the twenty years yeah. own way, mm -hmm. own way. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That's the mm -hmm. mindset. The mindset. Well, what is important? Oh now, Obanne, eighteen years and now, oh fuck eighteen years. You don't have a child, and it's an insult, yeah. and it's acceptable. Yeah. Yeah. Then what am I waiting for? That's a problem. You know. Yeah. And, uh, uh, no, here, eh, men and the here, if you call Dory, that if you call Dory, that oh, back at Jebu, you know, and how old are you? 17, yeah, come on, Tina, until I'm lady, if for two, eh, 17, eh, you know, yeah, so the culture, the subcultures, and the pressure that they put on the system, because they find it commendable, yes, and nothing is wrong with it, so long as if they see nothing wrong with it. I mean, we, <coughs> the middle class, the elite, call it teenage pregnancy. Mm -hmm. They don't, they they don't, don't call it that yeah. way. Yes, yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, youth <laughs> development again. Again. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go back and mm -hmm. define the way we, we refer to some of these things. Because we say, mm -hmm. what, teenage pregnancy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what is teenage pregnancy to them? It's, it's true. This is it. It's yeah. the norm. 15 years, she's carrying her baby. Yeah. Mm. And guess what? She's very proud of it. Very, yes. very. Yes. Yeah. Very. Yeah. And you're and looking forward to the next one. some yeah. English that is what? Teenage what? They don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a message coming from um, Chief Priest Abrantia. He says, um, uh, good morning from Papao. Um, papao, 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 papao. Yeah. But the way he has, okay, anyway, I guess that's papao. the spelling. Um, and you know where Papao is? No. It's in the actual area. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not too far away. Um, so, what Samantha is saying is the truth. The youth in this area just want quick money now and don't want to labor um, before getting mm. the money. And he goes on to say, another way um, this issue can be dealt with is from dealing, dealing with it from the root. Some of them um, now feel school is a scam because they see <laughs> others driving big cars and want to do the same. Uh, so mm -hmm. if the issue, issue isn't tackled from the root, it will come back and haunt, haunt us later. Yes, thank you for that message. Keep the messages coming in. Yeah, yeah, keep them coming in. Okay. Wow. Anyway, mm -hmm. I think we can go and uh, have another conversation. Okay. There's a challenge with roads. <laughs> and again, the roads conversation is not something that's going away anytime soon. I don't see it in my lifetime disappearing. Um, talking about lifetimes. <laughs> so, there's a neighborhood, um, you know, in Tikrum, in Ashanti region. And they're having challenges with their roads. Now, um, we have a report for you from our uh, correspondent, Fatih Amin. And I want to take a look at this and come back and delve into the conversation on this one. Kwejo Ousu is a resident and a unit committee member here at Tikrum. According to him, 
a large number of road users have abandoned the stretch due to its bad nature. He tells City News the situation makes the place less busy and, as such, criminals have taken advantage to perpetuate illegality in the area. But who fresh but true cars and brass are not honorable can a quiet or no be fast or ban and I'm saying Nippon or no name had that as any Nippon or ban not just a oko yeah in your home who drew her a man especially a man in Quran not far from brow and far from by me is we bag no more genial dear to your best rabbi and EMP see a slow one more baby bonny being see answer the assembly member for Tikrum Electoral Area tells City News that, as part of efforts to help address the situation, community members are currently on a drive to solicit contributions towards constructing the road. But she believes urgent government intervention will help. Concerning our roads, this is the main road that they used to go to other places, but. If you look at the situation here, it's very difficult to go around through this place. And the security wise, the people here are not safe at all. Those here are big men. And because of that, when they go to work in the afternoon, people come there to steal their things. And in the night, they also attack them. Even when you go to work and you are coming in the night, some of them come in the night. They attack them on this road. So they are not safe at all. And if you look at this uh, situation, when we call security crowd to come and help, the policemen to come and help, if they pass here, they can't chase them with their uh, motors or cars. So I'm pleading to... Um, um, government, especially the MP, he has promised to help us, and we are donating, contributing money so that we give it to the MP to also add something to it to repair the rules for us. Other residents in the area have joined calls urging the government to construct the road. Uh, we are having pretty big challenge here with the, the road because when the rain. When it's rain, uh, we have so many erosions and the ducks when it's dry season. So when the government even fixed the road for us, I think that uh, the erosions will stop and we will manage the road. This is not a big road. This is just a short road going through. And this is a major road that passed through. It connects so many towns up there. Uh, a chem, it connects a chem and Antoine. It can connect Antoine and so many others. So when the government faced its main road. All those residents that are living up there will, will, will have a peace of mind. How be brave the aba, especially so we are here. Maybe a whole person car car. If we are a taxi driver, we need the number sir. Maybe it's me a friend. We must say, on on who are we feeling? We must pick up. But moment sir, we be able to handle the whole thing. Now we be able to send the car be heading. Maybe say, now we say, now say the how can say about that? We say be a be peaceful fee. The residents have also called on the police to mount a security post in the area to reduce criminal activities. Right here at this junction here. One woman was attacked and his phone was snatched from him right on this junction. So when we have a police post here, I think it will be pretty much good. 
and when they, we got police uh, uh, patrols around the night here, this building around me, people go inside sometimes and smoke so many things there. So when we get police protection during the night, around 8 o'clock, those that are living up there cannot go to their house around 8 o'clock. So when we have police posts around here, I think it will, it will be uh, very good. No, me to attack any time, especially daytime, see, from 12 to 1 corner, they break a higher side in the heart to me, who will fear, and I wouldn't fear, cover by now, comfort to me, a boy's fear. Every other of us are more far. And answer night, in the here, I will bamboo for so I have no messiah, but by your home by a mile. All right, so that's a report there by our colleague. Fati Amin, and um, you can see that the, 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 it's a big problem, you know, um, security linked to, you know, the poor infrastructure of the roads and all that. Um, Samens, we keep talking about roads. We keep going back to this conversation on roads. There are countries that, I mean, we, we know they don't have any, they've dealt with their road challenge. Really? Have, aren't there countries that have dealt with No, I, I don't know. Oh. I'm just asking. Okay, so, so now I don't have full knowledge, but I went to, in 2000, the year 2000, I was in England, and just for a few weeks, traveled to Derbyshire. Now, my, my sense of what they had done in the UK was like every last village, there was some form of road construction into every place that you would go. I'm just wondering what it would take for us to lay out a network like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, first of all, mm. it would take strong leadership. Mm. It would take strong leadership. It would take a more effective regulation of the built environment. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's in caps. Mm -hmm. I mean, in uppercase <laughs> or what is it? in capital letters. Yes. 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 Strong and effective regulation of the built environment. Yes. Because the nature of our land ownership in Ghana makes us unique in a way. Okay. As opposed to the places you are referring yeah. to so if we don't have a strong leadership within the built environment and what i mean by that is political leadership mm. um regulatory leadership, leadership yeah. and if you like um the other word is not coming but you are in a country where any and everybody can decide to enter into farmlands mm. and put up estates there. Mm. So I can travel 50 kilometers away from Accra, yeah. see a vast, you know, nice mm -hmm. setting, mm. and then I decide, okay, I bought the farmlands, <laughs> and then I start an estate there without any reference to the utility services company, yeah. the road map, for building of road infrastructure mm -hmm. and the periphery uh, uh, complementary services, mm. you don't know. Mm -hmm. You go and put up estates that are 1,000 units of houses there, yeah. and then people buy, yes. and then start attacking government. Mm. Yes. You see, I'm just saying yeah. that this is where this we is find ourselves. Of, yeah. So if you ask me, mm. when is this road issue going to end? My answer, it will never end. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay? I mean, I lived in Kumasi before mm. as a kid growing up. Okay. And the places, this Baro place, Tikrum, and mm -hmm. all these places, yeah. when I was living there, how many years ago, there were red brick buildings, villages. Uh -huh. Okay. Stuck villages mm -hmm. yeah. that nobody ever thought that in 30, 40 years, be they will become this part level. of urban Kumasi. Yeah. So, if we don't have a certain structure of regulating where people can live, mm. where people can grow communities, then 
it's going to be an, a, a continuously chasing uh, mirage mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of let's provide roads everywhere yes. because the fact is yes people will need roads because mm. this is where they live yeah but the other fact is that we can't have roads everywhere, everywhere. because we have not planned for it. Yeah. Go mm. to, I always say, go to next door Burkina Faso. Mm. Côte d'Ivoire. Yeah. You cannot, That's a really good idea. You cannot build estates mm. where you, you the want. government mm. Mm. has no plan on taking electricity there. Yeah. It makes sense. You yeah. need to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you are not the one going to work the government's plan for them. Mm. That let me build it so you bring it. No. They say let me take it so you bring you yeah, build. You build. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me take the water so yeah, you build. You, build. Mm -hmm. you don't go and build yeah. knowing that there's no water. Yeah. And then come and fight me. Mm -hmm. Because in terms of priority, I may have a priority of putting water where there are already people living mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. you know your new place. So it's all regulation, leadership. Yeah. and the way we structure our built environment yeah. but as for roads at times i look at some of the stories and i'm asking yeah but these are village roads yes. mm. you don't expect asphalt That's or village yeah. roads yeah. you can't get it you won't get so it so i look at story on city team and yeah. i'm like so what's the story mm -hmm. yeah because a lot of my uh, reporters they, they, have a but they don't know their villages so they sit in Accra and do their story <laughs> as if Charlie, <laughs> I mean, yeah, we lived, we lived through it. Yeah. I mean, where me I lived, I mean, David, when I take you there, you, you run away. Wow. I, years ago, wow. I remember, I remember, oh, Kamla Dumo, I always remember oh, Kamla. I took Kamla to one of the villages that I lived in. When we got there, we got to the town, we got the, 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 the market. Mm. And then I got there, and somebody mentioned my name. They said, ah. <laughs> you know the guy? <laughs> well, I say, yeah. Why well, say come now? I say, no, me, I know they get down. Sale, <laughs> <laughs> the guy was just in the hurry to wow. let's let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Down, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that, that's that, that's how people mm. live. Mm. But if we want to be able to manage roads infrastructure yeah. services utilities that we need to be able to measure what we can do mm. measure you know the, the 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 so where can people live where yeah. can people not live yeah but if it's open for all yeah, then, no government yeah, can, can resolve this problem all right thank, thank you, you so much, much. Um, we have a few thank messages you. that you've sent our way we are really grateful that you send the messages through this one says good morning servants i'm really blessed by your words of wisdom god bless you this is coming from frank annan painter and then we also have one from ns in amasama and he says good morning in my opinion attitudinal change must be the problem mm. the youth are not ready to hustle yet they only think about flashy lifestyles okay breakfast then is going to take a short break thank you very much Samens, for joining us this morning oh, welcome we really appreciate it really appreciate nice shirt yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to catch up yeah. <laughs> <laughs>